Okay, guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this one another problem from Hebler Dynamics, chapter 14. The problem says that when the 5 kg box reaches point A, it has a speed of 10 meter per second. So the velocity at A is 10 meter per second. And it is said that determine the normal force on the box, normal force of the box exerts on the surface when it reaches point B. So we have to find the force of the box on the surface. So if we find the force of the surface on the box, that will have same value. So, and it is said that neglect friction and the size of the box. So here we are given that uh, x is equal to um, this, the path is given as a function, right? We are given that uh, this path is defined by this equation. So from this, we can write that x 1 divided by 2 plus y to the power 1 divided by 2, this is equal to 3. And when the box reaches at point B, we can say that we can see that x is equal to y. So, or we can say y equals to x. So, at B, y is equal to x. So, now if I put y equals to x in this equation, so this will be x to the power 1 divided by 2 plus x to the power 1 divided by 2, and this will be equal to 3. And from this, we can write that 2x to the power 1 divided by 2 will be equal to 3. Or we can say that x to the power 1 divided by 2 will be equal to 3 divided by 2. And if we take square, so this will give us x equals to 9 divided by 4. Or we can say that this is equal to 2.25 meters. So when the box is at B, x is equal to 2.25 meters. So now what does this mean is that when the box reaches here, the box is at a distance of 2.25 meters from the origin in the x, it is 2.25 and in the y it is also at a distance of 2.25. So this distance is 2.25 meters and this distance is also 2.25 meters. Now if I draw the box here, so the box will reach that point B and the box will be located somewhere here. So first of all, if we, if we want to find that normal force, so we have to apply, we have to find the velocity at point B. So by applying the law of conservation of energy, we can find the velocity at point B. So we can write that the kinetic energy at point A plus the gravitational potential energy at point A is equal to the kinetic energy at point B plus the gravitational potential energy at point B. So the kinetic energy at point A is 1 divided by 2, mass is 5, then the mass is given which is 5 and Va, so the velocity of the box at A is 10 meter per second. So that is 10 square plus for gravitational potential energy we define our data line at the x-axis is so this is our datum line so at at a the box is on the datum line so the vertical distance from the datum line is zero so the gravitational potential energy is zero at a and this will be equal to the kinetic energy at b which will be equal to one divided by two mass of the box into vb squared we let's say that the velocity of the box at b is vb and plus the gravitational potential energy of the box at b so the gravitational potential energy is always equal to the weight times the height from the datum line. So the height from the datum line is 2.25. So we can write that this is weight is 5 into 9.81 into height which is 2.25. So now we can write that this is 5 into 9.81 into 2.25. And h is positive in this direction and h is negative in the downward direction. So this means that when the box moves from A to B, the, the energy is stored in the box, right? So this is the positive gravitational potential energy. Now, when we simplify this, this is uh, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 and 2.5 into 10 square is 100. So this is 250 equals to, this is uh, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5 Vb square. And let me find this, this is 5 into 5 into 9.81 into 2.25. This is 110.36, so this is plus 110.36.
So, if I bring this to the other side of equation, so that will become minus, so this will be 250 minus 110.36 and if we divide both sides of equation by 2.5, so we will get we b square. So, we b square is 250 minus 110.36 divided by 2.5. So, this is 250 minus 110.36 divided by 2.5. This will give us v b square, which is 55.856. So, v b square equals to 55.856 meter square per second square. Now to find the normal force at point B, we have to consider the uh, normal and tangential coordinates. So the radius, uh, the center of the radius of the, uh, the center of this curvature is somewhere here. So the normal axis is going to act towards that center. This is the normal axis is, and the tangential axis is going to act perpendicular in the normal direction in the direction of the increasing velocity. So this is the tangential direction. And similarly, the weight is going to act vertically downward. So the weight is going to act like this. This will be the weight. And weight is 5 into 9.81. Now, if we find this theta, so this theta and this theta, both of these will be equal, right? So this is the weight and this is the theta, which it is going to make with the normal axis. So, if, if we consider this right angle triangle, we can find this theta and, and as we can see that this height is 2.25 and this is 2.25, so both of these sides are equal. So, if we apply tan theta, so if we apply tan theta, so that will be equal to 2.25 divided by 2.25, which will be equal to 1. And from that, if we take tan inverse, so that will give us theta equals to 45 degrees. So, this angle is 45 degrees. We can write that this is 45 degrees. So now if we apply the summation of forces along the normal axis, if I apply the summation of forces along the positive normal axis, so that will be equal to m a n and which will further be equal to m into v, v b square since we want to, we, we are uh, taking the summation of forces at point b. So this is m a n that is m v b square divided by the radius of curvature at point b. So, to apply this equation, first of all, we have to find the radius of the curvature at point B, which is always equal to uh, the radius of curvature at any location will be equal to 1 plus dy by dx square to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by d square y by dx square and its absolute value. So first of all, we have to find the radius of curvature at point B and at point B, x is equal to 2.25 meters. So now we are given this equation. So from this equation, I can write that y to the power 1 divided by 2 is equal to 3 minus x to the power 1 divided by 2. And similarly, if we take square on both sides, so we will have the equation like this. This will be y will be equal to that, this thing. And similarly, if we take the first derivative, that will be dy by dx. So the first derivative will be 2 into 3 minus x to the power 1 divided by 2, 2 minus 1, so which will give us to the power 1. And the derivative of this, so the derivative of this is 0 minus 1 divided by 2 x to the power 1 divided by 2 minus 1 will give us minus 1 divided by 2. So, this will be equal to this. Now, 2 will cancel out. So, we will be left with minus this minus 3 minus x to the power 1 divided by 2 divided by if I bring this x to the power minus 1 divided by 2 into the denominator. So, that will become x to the power 1 divided by 2. So, now we can write it like this. This is minus 3 divided by x to the power 1 divided by 2 minus x to the power 1 divided by 2 divided by x to the power 1 divided by 2. So, this will be minus 3 divided by x to the power 1 divided by 2 and this will become minus 1. And similarly, if we multiply this minus sign inside, so that will become 1 minus 
3 divided by x to the power 1 divided by 2 and if I bring this x to the power 1 divided by 2 to the numerator, so we can write this as 1 minus 3 into x to the power minus 1 divided by 2. So, this is dy by dx. So, now we can find dy by dx when x is equal to 2.25 using this equation. So, let me write it here dy by dx is equal to 1 minus 3 x to the power minus 1 divided by 2 and similarly if you want to find the second derivative so that will be d square y divided by dx square and now you have to take the derivative the second derivative of this. So, this will be 0 minus 3 into minus 1 divided by 2 and x to the power minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 so that will give us minus 3 divided by 2. So, this is minus 3 divided by 2. Now, this will become plus this is plus 3 divided by 2 x to the power minus 3 divided by 2. So, now if you want to find dy by dx when x is equal to 2.25 we need to put x value in this. So, dy by dx I need to put x equals to 2.25 in this equation this is 2.25 to the power minus 1 divided by 2 and this gives us minus 1. So, dy by dx this is minus 1 remember. So, dy by dx comes out to be minus 1 at x is equal to 2.25 or we can say that at point b. Similarly, d square y divided by dx square is equal to 3 divided by 2 and we need to put x equals 2.25 since the x value at point b is 2.25. So, this is minus 3 divided by 2 and this will give us 3 divided by 2 into 2.25 to the power minus 3 divided by 2 and this will give us 0 0.44. This is 0 0.444. Now, we need to put uh, both of these values in this equation the radius of curvature which we have written here. So, dy by dx at x is equal to 2.25 at point b is minus 1. So, I have to write minus 1 here in this formula and the absolute value of d square by dx square. So, that will be that is 0 0.44. So, if we calculate this we will be able to find the radius of curvature when the box is at b. So, this is this will be 1 plus 1. So, this, this is 2 to the power 3 divided by 2 divided by 0 0.444. So, this gives us the radius of curvature at point B equals to 6.37. So, the radius of curvature at point B is 6.37 meters. Now, we have to apply this equation the summation of forces along the normal direction. So, the, the surface is going to apply the normal force in in this direction that is in the positive n direction. So, we will write that uh, that n force the summation of forces along the n is is equal to m a n. So, this is plus n and plus n and we have to resolve this weight. So, this weight will have one component which will be going to act in this direction and this one will be the cost component. So, we will write that this is minus uh, 5 into 9.81 cos of 45 degrees. This cos component of the weight is acting in the negative n direction. So, this will be equal to mass. Mass is 5 and a n is V b square. We know V b which is 55.856. This is V b square 556 divided by the radius of curvature and the radius of curvature is 6.37. So, we will divide it by 6.37. So, now if I bring this term to the other side of equation, so it will become positive and we will have the normal force of the surface on the box equal to this thing. So, now this is 5 into 9.81 cos of 45 plus 5 into 55.856 divided by 6.37. This gives us n value 
which is equal to 78.52. So N is 78.52 Newton. So the surface is going to apply 78.52 Newton force on the box and as a reaction the box is going to apply the same force on the uh, surface. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if it helps in your learning.